Hi and welcome to Take Time to Create. My name is Linda and today we are going to explore these kits, just one of them, but I purchased four of them and it's from Let's Make Art and I saw, um, I think it was a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad and I thought, oh, these look so cool. So I decided to purchase these, not sponsored. I'm just trying this out and I purchased four kits. So I purchased the Summer Bicycle and the Octopus and Floral Truck and Amethyst. And we came with little watercolor paints for each of them. And what I want to do today is the Summer Bicycle. And if you want me to try out the other kits, let me know in the comments down below and we'll, we'll try them out. Now, I have never done these before, so this will be brand new to me. Also, one of my goals this year is to get better at watercolor. I can do basic things, backgrounds, you know, basic things on an art journal page. I can do um, galaxies, things like that. But I can't do too much more than that. So one of my goals this year is to get better at watercolor, and I thought these little kits would be perfect to get better. So I'm coming at this as a beginner maybe advanced beginner because I have played with watercolors and I do know how they perform. So maybe advanced beginner, but definitely on the beginner side. So let's see how this turns out and we're just gonna go for it. So it comes with a little postcard. So you see what's all going on. Let's make art. So this is what it's supposed to look like when we're done. That's my goal. I'm gonna put it, I'll put it right here so we can see it. All right, it also came with some um, graphite paper, tracing paper. And here's the pattern, and I can use this again and again for as many times I want to practice, and two pieces of watercolor paper. So we'll put one aside, and oh, the instructions. <laughs> Here are the instructions. So we are going to start at the beginning where we do an outline of the bicycle. That is the first step. And I also have the little colors here. I also have two pots of water, so one clean and one dirty. Also, they recommend down here uh, the paint. So if you don't have the paint, you can uh, get the four colors of your own, or if you like your own paints better, these are the colors, azure blue, honey brown, fuchsia, and emerald green. And I have those colors here. Brush sizes, I need a number two round and a number six round. And they have a free tutorial down here at the bottom, which is really handy dandy, but I have not <laughs> watched the tutorial. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go in. We're just gonna do this. So I need a little container to hold my watercolor paints because these are uh, really liquidy. Cool. All right, so I have a little pot here and this is the fuchsia one. I'm going to put a couple drops in here. And this is the honey brown. I'm going to kind of skip over just in case I need to mix something together. And this is emerald green. And this is blue. All right. I am also you know, before we get started, I'm going to see how these colors look. I'm going to get a scrap piece of watercolor paper. All right, I have this scrap piece of watercolor paper. I'm going to scooch this over because I'm not sure. Let me flip it over like this. I'm not sure what these are really going to look like. So I'm just going to take my brush and dip into each of the colors and just kind of see what they're all about. These are pretty. Okay, so I do like these so far. That's the brown. I think this is the green. They look so dark in this little pot here. It's so hard to see the colors. Okay, this is green. And then this is the blue. That's a really pretty blue. They have a little bit of a smell to them. I'm not sure what that is. Um, maybe it's because they've been in the container. I don't know, but they got a little bit of a smell, not too bad. Nothing I'm going to really worry about. Okay. So what we're going to do is get started with the instructions. Like I said, I've never done these kits before. I just saw the ad and thought I can do this, right? That's the whole goal. 
So we're going to start with an outline and there's also instructions on the back. Oh yeah, they say watch tutorial, paint along, outline and share. <laughs> well, yeah, who's got time to watch the tutorial, right? Ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just gonna jump right in. If you've been here for any amount of time, you know that's just the way I do it. I just jump right in and see what happens. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna just do this, just like this. And I'm just going to trace around. Okay, just like this. Pretty easy, and then I should be able to see what it looks like. Let's make sure it's working. Yeah, you can see that. I think I'm going a little hard, so I'm gonna lighten up how hard I press. And then, because I think, oh, that's better. Yeah, I was really going to town. I'm going to have to erase some of these because I was pressing way too hard. All right. This is this job. Let me do this and then we'll be right back and we'll get to start painting because that is the fun part. All right. So I started pressing lighter over here and you can kind of see it. So I'm just going to erase these super dark lines. I got a little heavy handed. That is not what you're supposed to do. So take it from me, lighten up. You don't need to press as hard as you possibly can. Okay. Okay, so that looks pretty cute. The, the tracing paper, graphite paper, whatever. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a line down the middle that as I was holding it down, that's where the fold crease was. So I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, you can kind of see it right down the middle, but I'm not gonna worry about it. This is my practice one. This is a, my first try. So we're gonna see how this goes. All right, step two says for us to begin painting the blue, the bike blue using the blue, okay. So I'm going to use the blue straight out of the pan, just like this. I think that's this one. Yes. Okay. I guess I'll just start painting the bike blue. <laughs> um, it doesn't say to wet the paper first. So we're, I'm assuming we're going wet on dry. It doesn't say, you know, wet the paper. So. I'm just gonna paint it this way and we're painting the bike blue and I am looking at the sample. I'm keeping an eye on this as I paint. And it's a little darker than what the uh, sample has, the postcard, but it's also watercolor. They do dry lighter. So we're just gonna play around with this. We're just gonna see what happens. Okay, so we have the bicycle painted. Not perfect, but I'm actually liking this. This is super cute. I really like how it's all turning out. I am gonna grab this, um, this part. I wanna make it a little darker. I don't like how, there we go. A little darker. But this is super cute. I love this pattern, this drawing, the bicycle. It's making me long for summertime. Okay, all right, very cool. All right, step three, mix all of the colors to get something similar to black and paint the tires. Okay, so we're just gonna, okay, we're just gonna take this and I have taken some blue, scooping, oh, I should not have done that. Hmm, I mixed, <laughs> I mixed my blue and my red, whoopsie, shouldn't have done that. Okay, you know what, we're just gonna do this. 
I've got a little bit of blue. I'm gonna put a little bit of red. I'm gonna put a little bit of brown. I'm gonna put a little bit of green. Let's see what happens. We are gonna see. Whoa, this is a little too green. Hmm. That's a very greeny color, yuck. Okay. A dark red brown color, not perfect, but I don't know what will happen if I add more blue. Hmm. This is something that I do need to improve on and that is my mixing colors. I just use everything straight from the pan. Um, so it's a super duper dark blue, but it's not black and we're needing black. And I'm not having a lot of good luck getting black. Maybe if I watch the video, the video would tell me more about how to get black. Okay, well, we're just gonna use this color. It's not perfect. It's uh, super dark, but like I said, it is not a perfect black. If I were to do this again, I would watch the video to learn how to do black. It just says mix all the colors to get something similar to black. So, or I would pull out one of my other colors in one of my pans, because I do have black in my stash, and I would just use that. But this dark blue is a nice color. It's a really pretty blue. And you do want to work with colors that you have in your palette, and this is a combination of all the colors I have in my palette, so this, this will work. Like I said, I'm not too, too worried, but, and this is a really, really pretty blue, so I do like it. Okay, so I have my blue <laughs> blue tires done. So far I'm liking this, even with the blue tires. It's all a learning experience and I'm trying to get better. So now I use the Honey Brown for the seed handles and baskets, finish off painting uh, the bike. Oh, whoops, I painted the bike too quickly. <laughs> and the spokes. So, okay. So now I need to do the basket. Those are all in the brown. My water. I, I accidentally mixed my water. It's pretty gross. Let me get new water. Okay, so the brown. Oh my. All right, so let's paint the basket. It looks like we have basket edge here. We will. Come on down, make it a little lighter. So I added a little bit of red to the basket and I kind of like it better than the straight up honey brown. I didn't, I didn't like the honey brown as well, just plain. So I added it and now I'm kind of blending the two together here. So I have those. Now I need to draw the spokes in. And I've got the green. I have no idea exactly what I'm mixing. I am just trying to find a good color for the spokes. I think a little bit more blue. Okay. Well, I mixed a bunch of colors together. I have no idea. I mixed all four of them. You know, just kept going and it's a little on the green side, but you know, we're just gonna go with it. I'm actually going to use the Liller brush and I'm just gonna bring this a little closer right here and just, just draw these spokes on. We're gonna see what happens. 
as I'm going, my opinion on this is I love the pattern. I love it very, very much. I'm having a hard time blending the colors. Now, I bet if I watched the video, I would have an easier time with blending the colors because they would tell me a little bit better how to blend the colors. But for somebody who's a beginner, it's a little hard to know. Um, so that is, that is on me for not watching the video, but, um, I think, I think I'm going to try this again with some ready to go paint and I'll just do this at the end and we'll see how it goes. We'll just make another one. But I do, like I said, I do like the pattern. I, I like I like the bicycle. I think it's super cute. Okay. Oh, this is just gonna make me better. I, I tell you what, I'm gonna be better. So let's keep finishing up with the instructions. I have add flowers to the basket. Okay. The flowers look like this. So we have, okay, I think I'm gonna use the bigger brush. So we've got some leaves here okay we're gonna do another big one with leaves over here some roses going with a little guy here you know what i actually do know this i do know this i need to dry the flowers in between so i don't have a big muddy mess so let me dry the leaves okay you know, I'm gonna scoot in just a wee bit. Oh, wrong way. All right, that's a little better for you to see. I'm not sure if you want to watch what I'm doing, but you know what, we're just gonna go to town. Okay, we're just gonna make some roses. Here is, oh, I need to finish the text. The last piece, and there's no way I'm going to paint that. <laughs> I do know my skills. Let me back up a little bit. I know my skills, and I don't think I could paint that, but I can handwrite it. So I've got a little Sharpie here, and I'm just going to write it. I already traced it. Well, what are my final thoughts? I like the pattern. I'm, I wasn't keen on the mixing, but I think I can do it better. Um, I really love that they gave me all the paints I needed, but I, I wish that the instructions had a little bit more instruction. Um, I, I guess, like I said, if I watched the video, I would have a better idea. But for those of us who don't watch the videos, we just jump right in. A little more instruction on there would be nice. Otherwise, this is a really cute kit. I feel more confident, so that was the goal. I feel a little better at actually making something real. So I'm excited to continue. So, oh, and I forgot to do the, the stem on my bicycle seat. Whoops, it's just floating there. There we go. So I'm excited to do a little bit more. And yeah, I think I am going to repaint this off camera um, with regular paints and I'll let you guys know. So I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna try this again and then I'll let you know what paints I use um, and let you know how that goes. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, I'm all done with this one. Oh, I forgot to write the enjoy the ride with a marker, but that's okay. Anyway. I love how this turned out. I am happier with the second one I used. And it was, honestly, it was nice to do it without the camera on, just to kind of relax, do it quietly. Um, so for the bike and for the basket and the handles and all that, I used um, Essence from Prima Marketing. And I used this color here. Let's see if I can... I used Chant and then I used Awake. Um, so I put a base of Chant down and then I put Darker of Awake on the basket. And then for the whole bike, I used Emotion. But Eternity would have been really pretty too, but I used Emotion. Then, uh, for, and then the, the 
Let's see here, the leaves, the darker leaves, I used this one, Nirvana. So um, that's what I used for the darker leaves. Then I have the classic set from Prima Marketing as well. And I used the black for the tires. Then I mixed a little bit of black and gray for the spokes. And I used the red and the pink and the purple for the flowers in here. And those colors are 11 and 12 for the gray and the black. And then I used two, three, and nine for the classic set. And you can see those colors. And I'm very happy with my basket. I'm liking it now. And we can kind of compare it to the postcard. And I think my bike could have been a darker blue, but I like this. I like the little teal pale blue too. So overall, I'm very happy with this. You know, I'll just keep getting better and better. So this kit, let's make art kit. Would I recommend? Yes, I think I would. Um, I'm not as fond of these little droplets. I think if you have a watercolor pan set already in your stash, I did prefer this. I was more comfortable. I felt like I had more colors. It was a little hard for me to, to mix the colors. And like I said earlier, if I watched the video, it probably would have been easier. Um, let me pull out my original one. Overall, I am happy with the original one, how it turned out, even with the blue tires and the green spokes. It's kind of cute that way. Um, let's see here. What else about this kit? I think it's fun. I think I have increased my skill set. I think this was very helpful for my skills. Uh, I increased my confidence as well. So I think that is a great thing with the kit that I can just keep getting better and better and I can do this again and practice again and uh, really enjoy this. So yeah, I would recommend these kits. They are very cute. I know they have subscription boxes, but uh, I preferred to actually pick the ones I wanted rather than to chance a subscription box. But yeah, I think it was money well spent. Like I said earlier, I did spend my own money on this, so I wanted to try it out. If you want to see any of the others, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, this was lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this a video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on my blog. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.